Hey everybody, it's Monica with Kid Lids, and I am showing you today how to make a duct tape rose earring. The much awaited tutorial that everybody has been asking me for. Thank you guys so much for watching and commenting. Please, if you make this, leave a video response. I would love to see your creations. As you guys know, I find it so much fun to watch everybody else's creations that they're making, and I love when you share. So, this is what it looks like, and let's get started. Okay, first of all, you need a bunch of the little tiny triangles that you would use um, for your duct tape rings or you're using the bigger ones for your flowers. Now that's how I have mine all set up. Okay, so to do that, what you do is you take your duct tape and basically there was a big piece here. You cut it in half and then you cut each one at the one inch mark. So you're having little squares like this. And all you do is you take one end, one corner, sorry, and you fold it down so that you have a piece sticky at the bottom. And then you take the other corner and you fold it down and you're making a triangle with a piece of sticky at the bottom. Okay, and then I just line them up like that. So I'll show you one more time before we move on to actually assembling the earring. You fold one corner down, fold another corner down, and you've got your triangle ready to go. Okay, now I'm making the partner for this one. So I started with purple and I ended with red and then I finished it off. So let's start. So you take your purple one and you're basically folding it onto itself. And you're making the little bud in the middle of your flower. Okay, now I just squeeze the bottom. That's what it looks like so far. Now, this part is the trickiest part of the whole entire thing because you're building your base. So you need to make all six colors on the very first row if you're doing a swirl flower. If you don't want to make it that complicated, just do one color and it doesn't matter then. Okay, so I'm putting the tip of this one very close to the tip of the purple one. So technically you're getting two tutorials in one here. You're getting how to do the swirl and how to make <laughs> an earring. So now you're going to put the green very close to the blue. I hope I'm not going out of camera there. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera or the screen. I'm looking at what I'm doing. Now you're going to put the yellow close to the green. Or, of course, whatever colors you're using. We're doing a bunch of stuff for Pride Week. Pride Week started yesterday here in Toronto. And um, we are huge supporters of Pride. So we always, always, always go to Pride every year and make things um, and dress up. And we have so much fun with it. And now our last color is red. So we put the red down. And that is your first row. So you've got all the colors of the rainbow. Yay! Okay, now basically all you're doing is building from there. And you're going to make sure that the color that you put, the new point of the next color, is right next to that one. So see how the purple is next to the purple? So I'm going to show you, let me see the angle, right there. So this purple one is the first one that I did, and now this is the one that I just added. So they're right close to each other. Now you're going to keep building, making sure that your points, again, are right next to each other, and that is going to build your swirl. And you're going to do it until the flower actually sits flat, and then that way it looks neater. Same as for a ring, I build it until it sits flat, and then that way it's flat against the person's finger. That's what we're making, an earring. Oh. <laughs> Marina just came in. Everybody's been asking me how to make them. Mm -hmm. They think it's difficult, but it's so easy. And believe me, if you do this, where you have all your triangles just lined up it makes it so much easier I fill up my whole cutting mat I've showed you guys in many of my videos and I can make around five pairs of earrings with six rows of color if I'm doing the rainbow if I'm doing any other colors I fill up the whole board and I can get around ten pairs of earrings made or twenty rings so it's like really good to get it all done at once and the time zips by once they are cut now taking the time to cut them that's another story. <laughs> 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 
that can take hours. Honestly, I have spent pretty much a whole day because um, you're doing other things, and I'll just sit down and cut every once in a while and fold them in triangles. But the payoff in the end is totally worth it. So, sorry that the camera's jiggling. I have it on duct tape and it's on the cutting board. So it is moving every time I pull one and it moves the cutting board. So you're just going to keep building. I'll show you what the top looks like in a second after I put a red one. So there's what it looks like so far. And as you can see, it doesn't sit flat yet. Whereas this one sits flat on the table, so that's what you would like. So you're just going to keep building. Again, going in the same circular motion, making sure that the points are next to each other if you want it in a swirl. If you're not, then you don't have to worry about that. And basically, if you build your base, then you're just building around it and going in a circular motion. I turn mine upside down just because it's easier. It's up to you if you want to do that. Um, I find it easier to look at the pattern from the bottom than trying to do it at the top. And sometimes I find that the petals crinkle if you do it from underneath. And I think this may be the last layer. And it'll sit flat. We'll see. And it is really cool to start with that little bud and then see it grow into this beautiful beautiful flower and everybody just loves them and cannot believe that they're made with duct tape almost flat so we'll do one more layer now our earring um, hooks I ordered from eBay I got a hundred for, honestly, a couple of pennies, I think. Um, you just got to look at all the links. And they came in an assortment of colors so that you can have fun with it. You can get them um, in silver and you can get them in gold, but we wanted the colors since we have all the colors of duct tape. And they came in a tiny little baggie. Um, so, yeah, now there is your, you just want to compare them, see if they kind of look the same. And they do. Oh, yeah. Came in a baggie, so it's kind of poked out now. But um, So now you're going to build the part that is holding on the little earring hook, okay? So you take your earring hook, which is this part. Thank you. <laughs> take your earring hook, and you're going to take your piece of tape that you want it to be the same as the post. The earring hook, okay? Although, I've done them in different colors. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Is that one the same? No. Yeah, the tape is the same, but the part that sticks on is blue. So, there you go. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. So, this piece here is, a, um, let me see, a quarter of an inch by an inch. And all you're doing is rolling it <coughs> onto itself. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Allergy season, folks. So you're again just making it roll onto itself until it is this <laughs> skinny little piece of rolled up tape and then I squash one end of it and I stick it through the earring loop like so. I fold this in half and I twist the earring while I'm holding the pieces of tape in my fingers and you have this when you're done. Okay, now I take another little piece of tape that I have stuck down here, and it is a half an inch by half an inch or so, and I stick it on the earring like that, so that's what you have looking at the back, okay, now, oh, the earring, the earring hook, sorry, so now I take the earring, and I'm matching up the blue to the blue, it's up to you what you want to do, and I tape that down, press it really firmly and now you take another piece that is the same as the piece that we rolled up but it's still straight and you stick it on there close to the top so it's a quarter of an inch by an inch yep and you just basically lift back that little triangle and you wrap the pieces around it so see there's the sticky piece and all I'm doing is pushing it down onto itself 
And there you go. There is your duct tape earring. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There will be many more coming. I think YouTube has improved its quality of uploading, which I'm very, very happy with. So yeah. our videos aren't freezing. All right. Enjoy. Please leave a video response if you make them. Love you all. <laughs> Share, smile. Bye.